today we're going to discuss state licensing and minimum standard home inspections. So I don't know if you know this out there, but in Rhode Island, you are licensed uh, to do home inspections. So it's required to have a state license to uh, perform this service for buyers and sellers throughout the state. So first, let's talk about the most egregious home inspectors out there. And these are guys or companies that do not meet minimum standard. Even though there's licensing out there, the policing of the industry is pretty slim. So these kind of guys fall through the cracks. Now, I've been doing this about 17 years. And uh, I have actually been called in as an expert witness for litigation. Not that we like to go on and on about lawsuits, but it's a thing. And uh, I've seen a lot of reports and I've seen a lot of contracts out there. And uh, some of them are good and some of them are not so good. But what's most important is there are minimum standards out there through the state of Rhode Island that are there to protect the client. But there are still guys out there who are working without a license and not meeting the minimum standard. So you really want to do your homework when you're hiring a home inspector. Make sure that they're licensed. Make sure they have a copy of their home inspection report online that you can view so you can see if it meets the minimum standards or talk to friends or talk to your real estate agent to make sure that you're using an above board contractor because you don't want to be left out in the breeze on this. The next group of people, this is the most common group of people. And these are what I like to call the bare minimum home inspector. Now, there are standards, but just like with any service out there, the standard is the minimum. You don't have to do just the minimum. You can exceed that. But there are a lot of guys that do the bare minimum when they do a home inspection. These guys are not breaking the rules. They're doing just exactly what they have to do to not get in trouble. However, they hide behind a phrase that's something to the effect of, we don't have to, so we don't. Examples like this, and a lot of people don't know this, but did you know home inspectors are not required to do any of the following things? They do not have to determine the manufacture dates of mechanicals, like the water heater, the heating system, the air condition. They don't have to figure out how old they are. All they have to do is look at them and test them. They don't have to estimate how old the roof is. They just have to comment on the roof and they have to identify if there's any evidence of leakage. Another thing they don't have to do is they don't have to tell you how long any of this stuff is supposed to last. So they don't have to tell you how old it is. They don't have to tell you how long it's gonna last. Basically, these guys that do the bare minimum put a lot of fluff and sometimes a lot of pictures, but a lot of the information is not as useful as you think it is until sometimes you move in and find out the hard way. So just like any service, there's a bare minimum, but there's also best practice in there is doing the work above the minimum standard. That is where the small group of home inspectors you'll learn about next comes in, like us. You can exceed the standard. You can provide the best possible service to your customer. You're allowed to exceed that. Just like if somebody's building a house, you can build it one way or another. One way is better. You want to go above the minimum standard and you want to get the best you can. So things that we would do and the few inspection companies that exceed the standard kind of read like this. We do determine the roof age and we look at the roof with um, technology or a ladder minimum standard that lets us look at the roof from the top so we can see deterioration of the shingles. We can see if they're cracking. We can see if nail heads are popping through. We can see if they've patched the roof with tar and things like that. Things you can't see from the ground and let the person know whether or not this thing is close to the end or not. When we tell you the age of the roof and then we tell you the estimated lifespan of that material, now you know how long the roof might have left. Thank you.